I have Axel at work today. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm going to do all the things. I'm going to do all the things. Yes. <laughs> He's making himself known here. That's for sure. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but I would like oh. to buy these earrings. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Take the money. Take the money. Yes. And then you got to put it in the. Eat it. No, <laughs> you don't want to put that in your mouth. Ew. <laughs> okay. Say this is a five dollar bill. This is the things that you collect. You don't eat them. You don't eat them. You got to put them in the in the thing over there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. So we're eating money now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Mama? Mama? Hey, Arnabies. How are you? <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> I'm having a bit of a week. Uh, it's Wednesday, and I am once again at the mechanic shop. Because I'm smelling burning brakes. Oh, this stupid thing, I swear to God. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to hold it. Um, so yeah, I'm smelling burning brakes again. And I'm so done. On Sunday, our fridge decided that it was going to go kaplooey. And there's other things that have been going on that have been not wonderful either. But my daughter came over with my grandson and we had a wonderful time. Um, I already missed them and they've only been gone a day. Uh, Axel started saying mum. So that made me cry. Um... But yeah, it's, uh, I've been missing more work this week than I've wanted, but yeah, that is, it is what it is. I'm not happy. Um, just when you think that things are getting better, then you get kicked in the balls again. So, yeah, there's that. Um, what else? I don't even know. I went back, I went to the shop after my few days off to visit my daughter and my grandbaby. And I came back to some little finds in my shop. Seems like the, uh, I, I gave my shop keys to Miles at the uh, shop across from me. And I guess they had a little fun in my shop while I was gone. <laughs> I'll show you a couple pictures. 
So that's the kind of stuff I walked into. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I'm, it's, it's really been an off week. Um, and I'm not liking it. I, we had severe thunder, thunder and lightning storms. Excuse me. Oh. Like always, it went from, you know, being summer hot, like 31 degree weather to, um, to now it's fall. Boom. That's it. No in between. Now it's fall. So I think it may be messing people up and I think, I don't know, something's going on that I'm not liking. I don't like the vibe. I don't like the feeling. So, anyway. I'll let you guys know uh, what happens. Once again, late for work. Yeah. Hey everybody, guess what? At my shop today, I got a mushroom kit. And I got it from a store called Opposites Attract and it's right across from me. Hang on, see? Opposites Attract. Over there, say hi, Angela. <laughs> That's Angela. And she's got the kits right there. And she's got one growing, and it's like growing crazy. It's it's like so cool. It's, oh, hang on. It's really, really cool. So I got one, and I got one. It's called the Pink Oyster. Today is day one, August 31st. So here it is. Oop. This is what it looks like. Okay. And this is day one. And it's going to grow out of there. And it grows so fast. I can't even believe it. This is the company that it comes from. And it's a local company here on Vancouver Island. So let's see what happens in the next few days because Angela's has been going for how long has this been growing now it's been like less than a week no it's been it's, a it's two, weeks. has it been two weeks yeah. yeah so yesterday they were a little bit bigger than this and then I came here today and look at this it's like crazy absolutely crazy but this is this is how it grows isn't that cool? So cool. I can't wait. So I'm totally excited about this. Mine's going to be pink. Obviously, it's called Pink Oyster. Um, but yeah, it, it almost looks like pink coral. It's so neat. So keep, keep I'll keep you posted on how it goes. And uh, okay, we've got day two of our mushroom and you can see whoop, there is a little sprout there so we'll see how it keeps going what is with my hair good morning yarn of bees <laughs> Wow, we're a mess. How are you? So, okay, I have a few things to talk about. Let's see. Um, no, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to my phone. You're what? <laughs> I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to my phone. I was wondering. <laughs> I never said that. So, I have a couple of FOs. No. Yay. Um, and I have, what do I have? I've got a couple things to talk about, but now I'm, for the life of me, can't remember what they were. Oh, anyways, okay, I'm gonna start off by saying, yay, Kimmy from Kim's Crochet and Knits got her lungs, she got her new lungs, new, new, old, what? Anyway, she got some lungs. Um, she went in for surgery and she had her, her double uh, lung transplant. Apparently everything's going well. Uh, I don't know if she's out of sedation yet, but um, 
I'm, I'm getting my information through Angela at my precious yarn, precious yarnery. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I'm getting it kind of second and third hand. <clears throat> but apparently she's doing okay. Um, what else? Uh, so that's awesome. I'm still going to be trying to get uh, some mystery boxes together. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get those together because I've got some yarn coming. Um, but I'm going to work on it. <clears throat> oh, hold that thought. Okay. So, um, yeah, so, what was I talking about? Kimmy? Did I, yeah, I'm so excited for Kimmy. Um, that's a big surgery, and she's been waiting for it for a long time. So, yeah, yay. I can't wait for her to wake up and take her first real breath and be able to um, get on with her life. Uh, it's been a long time coming. She's got a grandbaby coming, so she's going to be able to play with her grandbaby, and that is the best news ever. So, yeah. Um, okay, so I made a couple of things. <laughs> I've, I've been making pickles, of course, um, but I, I, I got some yarn from a wonderful subscriber. Uh, I, I bought the yarn. I saw it on, I can't remember where I saw it. I saw it on a channel. And darn it, I didn't bring it with me. Hmm. It's a Yarn Bee yarn from Hobby Lobby and it's a, um, a velour velvety yarn. Um, I'll put the name right here. Uh, so anyways, she sent me some yarn and I decided, well, like, what am I going to make with it? And I came up with this. It's a fat cat, but it turned out really big, like really big. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, it's a fair size, but the, the tails that I did on my fat cats before went up. And I decided to do it around this time, and I put a, um, a hair curler in it that I got from the dollar store. It's a long hair curler, so I put that in and just curved it around the cat. So, yeah. So there's that. So now that I've got that, now I can put it up at the, at, in the shop here. Uh, and then I decided... Hmm, my chair is like really acting up. Um, then I decided to make this guy. You may have seen it on my Facebook and my Instagram and everything, but <laughs> look at the eyes. Isn't that cute? So here it is. And I put a rattle in it. Can you hear that? Um, I, got, I had some baby rattle pieces uh, that I got when I found out that Tia was having a baby. And so I decided to put a couple of them in here. And it worked out really well. <laughs> so, yeah. Isn't it cute? It's so adorable. Instead of putting a, ta a, a tail, instead of putting a tongue on it, I decided to put the little nose holes, so, <clears throat> yeah, but I think she's so cute, and I did this out of the, um, home, home Chanel, is that what it's called, uh, and it, I, I love it, it turned out really good, and it was really quick, so, yeah, and the eyes I got from Amazon, um, these are the eyes that <clears throat> they have the cup. Hang on, I think I have some. Okay, so the baby rattles come like this. And they're just little discs. Hi! <laughs> I love that. 
Somebody let Thank me you. Some more. Hold that thought. Make okay, so this is what they look like. And uh, you get 50 pieces in a bag. And they're not that expensive. So. Um, and then the eyes I got are like this. And then they've got the, the little piece behind it for the color. <clears throat> but what I love about these ones is it has the cup, right? So when you push these in, it sinks right down inside. And then they they look like they are right in the fabric. They're really, they, they're flat. So I really like that. Um, I will put the link for these, if I can find the link, I'll put it down below. Uh, it will be a Canadian link, but uh, if you look up the name, I'm sure that you can get it on Amazon.com as well. So, yeah. Uh, what else? <clears throat> I'm... I just put an order in for Croy Sock Yarn. So that's going to be coming soon um, into the shop. I'm hoping by next week. Uh, I had a lady come in with some, um, well, the, the lady that used to have a shop here, she came and she asked me if I wanted to buy some merino wool from her. So I bought that. And then she came in again this morning and she brought me felting yarn. So I've been having a few people call me and ask, or uh, come in and ask me about felting yarn. I know nothing about felting. So uh, it was really nice that she brought it in. I, I bought that from her at wholesale, which was really nice. <clears throat> um, what else? I know there's other stuff, guys. Oh, did I tell you my fridge went kablooey? Yeah. We're still waiting for them to get the part in so that we can get it fixed. So, yeah, there's that. <clears throat> um, everything's fine with my car. I'm not sure if I told you that. Uh, but I took my car in because I thought something was wrong with the brakes. Everything's fine. I think it's when George uses my car in the morning, he's a little heavy footed. So I think that's what that was. He's not using my car now because he's terrified that he's going to do something to it. <laughs> it's like, okay. Um, what else? Gosh, I know there was a bunch of stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about. It's too early in the morning. And I haven't got my thing. Mm. My mushroom. Today is day two of the mushroom. Um, and I'm seeing a little seed pop up. So it's starting. So that's awesome. I'm going to leave pictures here of my friend's mushroom. Uh, yesterday was day 13 for hers. And just overnight, it just went bam, bam. So here, this was day one. Or no, this was day 12. And this was day 13. Like what? I can't even believe it. So I can't wait to see what mine's gonna look like. Cause it's it's gonna be pink. I've never seen a pink mushroom in my life. So anyway. Um what else? Don't know. Anywho, I guess I'm gonna go. I hope I've got enough stuff in this video that I talked about. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll talk to you guys later. I love you all. And uh, you guys have a great, for Canadians, you guys have a great long weekend. Is it a long weekend for the US? I don't even know. Um, but anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. Love you. Bye.